lavender essential oil, which I like lavender. It's pretty. It smells pretty. And I'm pretty stinky right now. Right now there's the village yard sales going on. So there's yard sales everywhere. That's what the boys are doing. The big boys. Hmm. I think somebody's been into my oils. Oh, there they are. Lavender. You could add tea tree. Tea tree is um antibacterial, which might help if you're extra stinky. Whatever. Yesterday, Tyler and I made a cake for Daddy. Vanilla cake with vanilla buttercream frosting and raspberry filling. It was his birthday. Tyler was all excited. He thought we were going to eat it as soon as it came out of the oven. It's so cute. You know, some things you do, like cookies, you eat those right out of the oven. Not cake though. So I'm just stirring this. It's pretty melty. It seems like I have to mess with mine a little bit, bit, like I make a batch and then test it out a little bit and uh, to get the beeswax right. And it seems like there's a, <laughs> in the summer it's really liquidy and in the, in the winter it's really hard because it, the room temperature is a lot colder. So it seems like you sh I should have two batches, one for the summer and one for the winter. Here's the cornstarch going in. Mm. And here's the baking soda. Uh oh. Okay, so it's kind of a mess. So it's really full. Whatever. Normally, a batch, if you were making it new bits in this jar. This is a short wide mouth jar. And of course we have two hands. <laughs> Go that easier. Okay, I'm gonna go get the Can you need these beets. Like I said, what's well, unprepared? And I want to do this while the other boys aren't home. Okay, I got 
a smaller spoon. So to apply this once it's cooled down, I just like get a pea sized or maybe the tip of a pencil eraser sized um, little glob and uh, warm it up a little bit in my fingers. Like in the summer it doesn't take that long. In the winter, you know, you warm it up a little bit. And then I just rub it on like lotion. And I know that coconut oil is drying. I used it in my lip gloss. But I figure it's got to be better for you than the petroleum based products. Because what that petroleum based product is, is um, runoff or it's leftover from them refining oil, petroleum. And I don't want that on me. Okay, I'm going to turn this off. Pretty thick. Get a pot holder. Okay. Here it is. Just give it a good stir. So, um, theoretically, if you were going to, one of these batches lasts me quite a while, but if you were, and your significant other was using it, or if you had kids that were using it, it wouldn't last. It lasts me about six months. So, pretty cheap. Oh, I need that smooth back. Okay. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay. I want mine pretty stinky. Pretty stinky. You could, if you wanted to, um, just use baking soda. But I like it. I like making something. I like having a little jar. And I like the cornstarch because it keeps you dry. And the baking soda keeps you not from smelling and um, the coconut oil I just figure you know why not now um, when I melt it I can't really smell the coconut I know other people have like have said um, the coconut smell but I don't smell it it just won't be me but I'm pretty sensitive to smells So here it is. It'll harden a little bit more, but this is fresh. Still warm. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, so then you just... I just shaved, so I'm good. Just shave and put it right on. Now, um, the... the um, what am I trying to say? I don't know. Oh, this video is too long. <laughs> That's funny. The um, baking soda might be a little gritty, but I'm not, I don't care. I'm going to put this in the fridge, <laughs> label it. If you have other people in your house, label it. At least you probably never see this video, because put it in the freezer. It's too long. Okay, ta-ta for now.